people. Just another quick little video um, of my RO system. Well worth a purchase. Um, as you don't have to really rely on, obviously, buying it from shops. Um, that's on tap if you like. Um, fairly easy to plumb in. Now, the first stage, which is plumbed in from here, that obviously goes through your main tap or supply. That comes through your 5 micron filter. Through here into your coconut carbon filter. Now, from here, it goes to your reverse osmosis and at your reverse osmosis into your DI resin. At your DI resin into your container you're putting it in which then you should end up with zero TDS. Now, beginning, um, when it's coming out of my tap, I'm getting 472, and obviously on the way out, it is zero, zero, zero. Um, you obviously tell that by your TDS meter, um, which I got with this system. Um, but what I have done is had an additional, because I really want to know and take out some of the guessing work of when to change my 5 micron and my carbon filter um, and obviously once it passes my 5 micron and my carbon and before my RO system which is down here it's obviously plumbed in here um, that will actually knock it down to around about 430 so if I then see that increase to 440 I can then say, right, these two filters then need changing because they're, they're letting contaminants through. Now, I've put it on the end where it comes out of my reverse osmosis before my DI resin, um, which gives me a reading of um, 0 0.5, um, which is pretty good. But then again, I mean, you can then tell if your reverse osmosis is letting too many contaminants through because if it goes higher than five that obviously needs changing um, and obviously on the way out that's, that, that's zero 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 anyway if it isn't and it creeps up to one I would say you really need to, need to change it for a reef aquarium that is I mean I, obviously you've seen my nano reef um, and you you just cannot afford any contaminants coming through as it's very hard to look after as it is. Um, this one's got an additional flushing system for your reverse osmosis, which you should do every two days, depending on obviously how you how, how much water you're running off really. Um, I mean, obviously I don't really run off that much water, not really. I'm running off 25 litres and that probably would last me a hell of a long time. I was running it off at some point for somebody else, um, which was he was having it off me, but that was easy for him in the end to buy his himself one again, you know, because it's on tap. Um, and then the other thing I've actually done is bought a, bought a um, little water level alarm. Now I've had to modify it um, just to tell, let me know when it's getting to a certain height because um, on the odd occasion you can forget it unfortunately you could put a ball valve in but I haven't got the room in this cupboard at the minute um, until I've changed things around a little bit this is a little bit more convenient as it was only a fiver um, so I'll just stick that little probe in my bucket once it gets to, that, get to a certain height the alarm will go off um, to let me know to turn it off basically um, yeah other than that I mean very good investment well worth it obviously you've got here I will just say this piece here is actually your waste your reje rejection pipe so all your bad will be going through here and out um, yeah 
any questions, any comments, please do so. Um, speak to you soon. Hopefully, I'll be setting up my new big tank soon. Um, and unfortunately, breaking my nano tank down. Um, thanks for watching. Karen.